St. Marnock's Primary School is uh, located in Pollock in Glasgow, south side. Uh, the children are very enthusiastic learners. So I started the Young STEM Leader programme because I wanted to widen my horizon regarding STEM. As a Young STEM Leader, usually we would take out groups of children and then we would lead a club. My favourite thing about STEM is I think it would be working in a team because you can make a lot of new friends. So in St Marnock's Primary School we are running the YSL 2 level currently with the Primary 6 and the 7s and obviously the Primary 6. Young STEM leaders when they move up to Primary 7 they can do the next level, the YSL 3. The best thing about being a young STEM leader is to like lead people and to inspire them to like be interested in STEM. The best thing that I've done as a young STEM leader is interviewing Catherine Gemmel. She's a marine conservationist and a STEM ambassador, um, and I learned a lot from her. Um, definitely as being a young STEM leader has been my leadership and confidence it's been going up a lot. STEM is really fun because it can help you to get, well, when you get older, it can help you to get a better job and you can inspire people to develop a lot of skills. I think the best thing I've did of being a young STEM leader was joining it. I don't regret that at all. I've been enjoying it since I started it. It shows that um, it's easier than it sounds because not everyone's good at math, but some people can be good at science. And if you show them different ways to do math, it might help them later on in life to help them do math if they want a certain job that evolves math in it. Collecting evidence for young STEM leaders are sometimes a challenge because uh, but it's a good challenge, I believe, because they need to think about their learning. So these are metacognition skills which the children need to learn anyway to reflect back their, on their learning. So this is a, a learning journey for the leaders, but I think it's part of a leadership skill. 